Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manually register devices with Windows Autopilot. Windows Autopilot is a collection of technologies used to set up and pre-configure new devices, getting them ready for productive use. It is used to simplify and automate Windows out-of-box process. Windows Autopilot is a reliable way to deploy Windows and is being currently used by many large organizations. It can help us deploy a Windows 10 or Windows 11 faster and save our time and money. Building and managing operating systems are time consuming. With the help of Intune and Autopilot, we can pre-configure, reset, repurpose and recover our devices. We can customize and deploy the setting without re-imaging which saves us a lot of time. Autopilot comes as a part of Azure AD Premium P1 license. It is not licensed separately. If you plan to use Intune, which you probably do, then you will need an Intune user license too. This video is first part of the mini video series on Windows Autopilot deployment. I have divided Autopilot deployment into total 5 parts. In this video, we will manually register our test Windows 11 device with Windows Autopilot. The first step in setting up Windows Autopilot is to add the Windows devices to Intune. We can perform Windows Autopilot device registration by manually collecting the hardware identity of devices also known as hardware hashes. Once we have this information in a CSV file, we need to import it into Intune to register the device. Capturing the hardware hash for manual registration requires booting the device into Windows. So this process is mainly used for testing and evaluation scenarios. For this demo, we have this Windows 11 VM running in Oracle VirtualBox. The machine is not joined to Azure Active Directory or on-prem local Active Directory. In this step, we will capture the hardware ID of this Windows 11 VM. This will be later uploaded into Intune portal. We can use a PowerShell script to get a device's hardware hash and serial number. The serial number is useful for quickly seeing which device the hardware hash belongs to. Open an elevated Windows PowerShell. For that, right click on Start button and click on Windows Terminal Admin. Click on Yes. Let me maximize it. We need to install the get Windows Autopilot script, which is what we use to manually register devices with Autopilot. For this, we will use the command install script get windows autopilot info this command will download the script file from the powershell gallery and install it on this computer press enter key type y and press enter key to add the script installation path to the path environment variable let me press enter key if this is a new machine where nougat has not yet been installed we will be prompted to import and install the NuGet module which is required to obtain this PowerShell script. Again, type Y and press Enter key to install and import NuGet provider on this computer. Let me press Enter key. We will be prompted with another question. Are you sure you want to install the scripts from PS Gallery? Type Y and press Enter key. Okay, 
So script has been successfully downloaded to this Windows 11 device. Let me clear the screen. Next, we need to set the execution policy. If we try using the script before setting the execution policy, we will receive an error. Type set hyphen execution policy unrestricted and press enter key. So we have successfully modified the execution policy. Let me clear the command prompt. Now type command get hyphen windows autopilot info hyphen output file and then specify the name of the output CSV file. In our case, I'm giving name apphwhashes.csv. This PowerShell CM delete will generate the hardware hashes and save it in a file named apphwhashes.csv. Let me press enter key to execute this CM delete. Since this virtual machine is running in Oracle VM virtual box, there will be no serial number and we can confirm it from the output of the command as well. So finally, we have the hardware hash of this Windows 11 computer in aphwhashes.csv file. Let's open File Explorer. Double click on C drive, Users and Admin. We can see this is the CSV file with the size about 8 KB. So step one of generating device hardware hash is completed successfully. In the next step, we must upload the CSV file into Intune to register our Windows 11 device for autopilot. Sign into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Device Enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. Under Windows Autopilot Deployment Program, click on Devices. On the Windows Autopilot Devices page, click on Import. Now, we need to select the CSV file which we have generated earlier. Click on Browse. We have stored that file under C, Users slash Admin and then we have the CSV file named appyhwhashes.csv. So select the file and then click on Open. After selecting the CSV file, now click on Import. We can see the message Importing Devices. We need to wait for the process to complete. So I'm going to pause the video recording. Once the upload completed successfully, I'll resume it. After waiting for around 6 minutes, finally the device is imported successfully in Intune. Here we can see the confirmation message, one Windows Autopilot device is uploaded successfully. Now I'm going to click on refresh to see the new device under Windows Autopilot Devices page. Let me click on refresh. Let me close this. We can see the device with serial number 0. We are using Oracle VM VirtualBox. And that is the reason why our serial number is 0. Uh, we can see the profile status is not assigned. So our device is successfully registered with Windows Autopilot in Intune. From here, we can also delete existing Windows Autopilot devices that aren't enrolled in Intune. For that, we just need to select the checkbox and then you need to click on delete to delete your autopilot device. When you click on delete, it will ask for the confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete the selected device? If you want to delete the device, then simply hit on yes button and if you don't, just click on no. The deletion process can take a few minutes to complete and once the process complete, your device will be successfully deleted from Windows Autopilot devices. So this is how 
you can delete your existing Windows Autopilot devices. In our case, I'm not going to delete it because we are going to use this device in the next video. So first part is completed in which we have manually registered our Windows 11 device with Windows Autopilot. That's all for this video on how to manually register devices with Windows Autopilot in Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.